Hi everybody, how you doing? <laughs> it's me, the Ren Builder over here, just working on an ever so long tunnel. Mmm, yes. Hi! <laughs> how you doing? So, yep, I just thought I would share some, uh, some of the stuff we're doing. It's, uh, for you guys that are familiar with this, this is a nether portal railway, I guess? Anyhow, it's going to be fast, so there's that. <laughs> but, oh man, these things take a while to build, and oh, the quartz. But, I got a trick for mining quartz. Well, it's not mining. I got a trick for obtaining quartz. I'm going to show you. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you that. Do, 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 don't mind me, just laying miles and miles and miles of glass. Ah, so much fun. So much fun. So much glass. Ah! Hoi! And you guessed it! More glass! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Finally, no more glass. Okay, <laughs> completed tunnel. <laughs> Let's check this thing. Supposedly, this is supposed to be the fastest way to travel. I've never done this. This is a first for me, and this thing took forever. Forever. I, I still have to build out these here rooms. Um, this is looking kind of awkward. Yeah, I still have to build out these here rooms. Obviously, you can tell... We're at the ceiling, not above the ceiling, but we're at ceiling level of the nether, you know, for a nether hub and all. But uh, this is the first time I've ever done a tunnel like this. And <laughs> it's blue ice, you know, with the glass guard rail and uh, a whole bunch of quartz. Now, mind you, I still need a guardian farm so I can get lots and lots of sea lanterns so sea lanterns will be at the top of the tunnel to illuminate the thing and make it nice and bright but for now I've got well I mean it is what it is so boat time let's check this sucker out let's check it out you ready? well I better, better get lined up here Three, two, one, go! Ooh, buddy! Holy smokes! Yeah, boom! Oh, God, that'll give you a headache. And now we go this way. Try and stay straight. Yeah, boom! Woo! Oh, oh man! <laughs> is fast let's do it again do we do it again you want to do it again i bet you do <laughs> close up how you doing that that's the back of my head <laughs> or my nose see any boogers up there no nope. how about in there <laughs> oh wait where's my brains I, I don't know where where my brains go i don't know where they are <laughs> just having fun here whatever you know let's do it again we're gonna we're gonna do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. God, this thing's fast. This thing this thing is fast. I th it's ooh, how far are we? Let's let's see. Okay, two o two, two seventy six. So we start at two o two, two seventy six. Ready? Three, two, one. Blast off! And thump. Man, that is like. That stop is like scary concussion level right there. And warp speed! Thump! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, 64 and 2. So, I mean, that could be worse, right? Uh, I mean, it could be longer, I guess. So it's over 200, 400 blocks, right? Because it's 200 one way and 200 the other way. So 400 blocks which I guess is times eight in the overworld. So, I mean, that's it's a... Good Lord, it's a long ways when you talk about overworld and 
I mean, it's still a fairly long ways when you do, when you're talking about, you know, just, just doing this, but <laughs> holy cow. So yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about it a little bit, right? So for the, for those of you who, who don't or, oh, uh, that is not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Anyhow. So blue ice, right? The hitbox on the boat uh, covers more than one block, which means by the time we skim over, like if we're on here, by the time we get past here, it doesn't drop down. So since it doesn't drop down, you can space your blocks of blue ice because blue ice is expensive. Oh, God, is blue ice expensive. It takes... I had to tear down an entire iceberg to make this much blue ice. Oh, geez, it's expensive. But anyhow, uh, so blue ice is expensive. So to save, um, you know, to save material, you can go every other block with the blue ice. If you have an ice farm or just are ungodly rich, you can do every block. So just one solid stream of blue ice, and that would work better. In fact, that would actually work better for walking, because I'm going to tell you walking on this thing sucks it sucks yes it does all right so that's that's just a thing and, and you'll see why because you bounce down you you can't actually get a run you bounce down every other is this thing still moving no it's just me uh yeah so you bounce down every in between and it you, there's no running there's no and these here Panes of glass keep you off of that solid surface, so you have absolutely no choice but to bounce around. I had an idea. Um, I, I did have the idea that you could probably put... I haven't tried this yet, and I'm probably not going to, but you could probably put a path block in there in between the ice, and it would still work, because a path block, which if you don't know, is you plant the grass block not dirt, grass. So you plant a grass block and then uh, hit it with the shovel. Right click it with the shovel, right? And it makes a path block. And the path block is just a wee bit lower than a normal block surface, which is what the ice is. So technically I think you could put path blocks in between the ice blocks. Your ice would still function the same as far as its effect on the boat and the boat wouldn't hit the path block because you know it's jumping over the gap and since it's lower it doesn't hit and then it would also be a lot easier to walk or slash run uh, the, the the track if you needed to if you were like me and you you know kicked your boat <laughs> what, the, well, what can I say uh, uh, anyhow let, let's get back in here all right so I'm gonna go show you my. Uh, I'm gonna go show you how I managed to get all this quartz, and let me tell you, this is over 30, 40 stacks of quartz. 40 stacks. It's it's a lot of quartz. It's a lot, um, and I'm gonna show you how I went and got all that because you might find that interesting, and and it's actually not that difficult to do. Um, I say not that difficult. It, it's it's still a thing, but. It's, it's a lot easier than trying to mine it through the nether, which is always trying to kill you, but, you know, whatever. So, let's do that. Let, let's do that. Where's my boat? Come here, boat. Come here. There. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna try it. Spitty spin! See if we... Uh, okay. Warning... Well, oh, that's the boat. That's not my face. That's that's underneath the boat. Look at that. All right. So warning, warning. Um, if you get dizzy or like your visual acuity is is a little rough, uh, you might want to look away because we are going to spin this thing. <laughs> let's, let's let's see what happens. Let's. See. Oh yeah. All right. Speed and. <laughs> I don't even know where we're going now. Oh my god! <laughs> too much, too much, too much fun. Too much, too much fun. This is nuts. Let's see what happens. All right, spit. Oh, missed it. And where are we gonna land? This is like spin the bottle. 
And there we go. All right. And come in spinning. Boosh. <laughs> hey, actually, that lined her up. <laughs> what, am I missing a block there or something? I'm missing, I'm missing a block here. I might as well fill that in while I'm here. Oh, geez, yes, that is fun. That is, that is fun. Oh, man. That is fun. Okay, where are we going? All right, let's let's get down here. Yeah, this this is my this is my Nether portal on top of the tower, which you guys might, if you you know if you've been following along, you you know the tower. Um, so th this could be more convenient, I guess, but it works. I like it. So we come down here to the spiral staircase that every other YouTuber hates so much. Or YouTuber, or, you know, decent Minecraft. I think Grian hates the, yeah, Grian, Grian hates the spiral staircase around the one block thing. I think I don't know. I'm probably misspeaking. So th this is my latest project, by the way. This is the roof of my shop. I remodeled the shop. Yes, I did. I remodeled the shop. Would you like to see it? <gasps> there it is. Check that out. Is that not snazzy or what? I, I need another piece of glowstone up there, which I don't know why I haven't done because I have it, but yeah. Is that not snazzy or what? I like it. I really like it. But the, anyhow, this is this is my shop area. You know, it's, it's where I intend to do the experimenting on things. I got my infinite water supply there, a couple things. I have to, I have to deck it out with the stuff yet. Um, put some doors over there. I got the doors over here. The, uh, you know, the, the double opening doors. Uh, so, yeah. I thought this turned out quite nice. For illumination, we got, you know, stuff under the carpet here. And I tried to make these look like, um, like fluorescent tubes kind of thing. Like, you know, ceiling lights you would see in a drop ceiling. I, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's more shoppy, you know, but hey, whatever. And the color combination, I think, worked out really nice. I think this looks amazing, but, you know, it's just me. Anyhow, uh, moving on. This is my secret. This is my secret. Uh, this this here, um, I, I, I actually closed that in so it could be my AFK spot. But this is the stone generator. If you guys, you know, follow back, if you go back through a couple videos, you'll see how to make a stone generator. It's not, um, it's not the absolute fastest. So let me, let me get here. Uh, so the stone generator, I think it's, I, I don't remember. I should have checked. But anyhow, if you had a beacon that gave you haste and a, uh, efficiency five pickaxe all i have is an efficiency four pickaxe and <clears throat> that's it's about right for this four block stone generator not cobblestone stone generator uh so and that's there's that's that's important it has to be a stone generator that's important to this whole quartz plan right so yeah anyhow um if you had a, a beacon and and uh, with haste and a an efficiency five pickaxe then there's another design which I've seen out there I, I would have to I don't know if it's F whip or J wisp or it might be F whip I think Il mango's done it I'm just trying to think off the top of my head I, I really don't I don't really remember who all's done it but um, there is another design that actually does side by side five deep side-by-side -side stone generation and then there's like a little piston that just kicks you back and forth uh to auger the thing out because you'll overrun one of these things up here but anyhow here's what i got it's a four block deep stone generator with an efficiency four pickaxe mending unbreaking all the hoopaloo um it takes about 35 minutes I set my timer and I AFK for 35 minutes. It fills up a double chest and then some. It, it's about, it's a double chest and then I'm going to say six to seven more stacks of stone. 
So it's the double chest plus seven stacks of stone that you get after 35 minutes. And after 35 minutes, an unbreaking three efficiency four pickaxe is just about broken. So 35 minutes works out perfectly in this combination. Four block deep stone generator, efficiency four, unbreaking three, 35 minutes is perfect for AFKing at this spot. So that's the first part of the quartz plan. Okay, the first part. Here's the second part of the quartz plan. You come down here, and what you gotta do is make yourself a bank of masons. And these are all master masons. Now, this really isn't that difficult once you have two villagers. Uh, it, it literally just consists of however you want to trap. Now, mind you, this is not the most efficient it could be. Um, this is this is pretty entry level. This is a pretty entry level, uh, I guess, trading hall. You know, villager trading hall. I don't have a zombification uh, setting up in here, and that would make this significantly more efficient. If I zombified like half of these guys then I could probably only need half of them, to be honest. But uh, that's that's the thing where they're at right now. So, I mean, we have fence uh, gates in between so they can't get around. And even if they could get around, they can't walk out because of the trap doors. Um, looks like I need to put a trap door right there. So they can't walk out because of the trap doors. Um, so, yeah, they're kind of stuck there. And, and they never go to sleep. So here's what you do. You come and you trade the stone. I think I have a... Yes, I do. Uh, how do you like that much stone? Uh, I told you. And you just sit here and you trade stone, right? And it builds up your experience. And you get your emeralds. And you just literally sell every one of these guys out with stone. Then you come back here, and the Master Mason sells quartz. So you come back, and you buy the quartz. Now, here's the thing. Oh, I wasn't doing this right. I gotta show you what happens. Remember that, uh... Let me look at you here. Remember that efficiency mending pickaxe that you almost broke after 35 minutes? <laughs> watch this <laughs> this is neat uh, i love this 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 whole way of getting quartz is it's time consuming but it works awesome it's way better than trying to mine a bunch of uh it's way better than trying to mine a bunch of stuff in the nether which is trying to kill you put the pickaxe in your hand boom Every time you sell and buy, it gives you experience, heals your pickaxe. If you notice, the pickaxe is now brand spanking new. Oh, that's the back of my head. That's the front. <laughs> yeah, so, that's my secret. That's that's how I got all this quartz. And I'm going to be honest with you, if, uh, if you want to take this to the next level then you have to zombify and cure your villagers. Which, I mean, in this situation, I would probably take out those trapdoors and then get a zombie in here and just basically let the zombie zombify all the villagers and then just, you know, kill the zombie and go through and, and cure them all and then maybe do it like one or two, three times. And you'll end up getting the price or the, the price of emeralds and stone down to like one stone or, you know, much better return on investment at which point you would only need like four of these guys uh, but i got eight it works so that's the thing um well now i now i kind of feel that that was pretty anticlimactic but honestly you have no idea how much this saved me like it was totally worth the time it took to get all these villagers trained up and bred up uh, to accomplish this, it was totally worth it. Um, it saved me so much time. It literally took, like, I was wondering where in the world I was going to get all the quartz. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, I got to go mining. 
But then I'm like, it took me about a day to set this stuff up. Uh, and then it took me like two days. Two days of AFKing, um, 35 minutes at a time, to get all the quartz I needed for... And I'm telling you, it was over 20 stacks. Uh, actually, it was over 30 stacks, because I went in there, it took me two times, so were probably over 40 stacks. <laughs> I know I'm guessing at this point, but it was a lot of quartz, and I pretty much got most of all of it from these guys, and it only took a couple days, and I was like, good enough for me, so maybe it'll save you guys some time. Either way, I, I highly recommend the villager trading thing. Take advantage of it, because it will make your life so much easier in the long run. It definitely will. Uh, my next my next thing I got to do is work on the farmers. Oh, by the way, the other cool thing that that I that was an unexpected cool thing. Check this out. Uh, this guy was a bad example. <laughs> Check this out. You can get all kinds of this cool terracotta. And here's the thing. You will get look at that. Look at that terracotta. It is gorgeous. I am looking forward to thinking up something I can do with that terracotta. That, that's not, I mean, green's not quite my thing, but that, that'll work on something. I think, I think glazed terracotta is gorgeous. I really do. I love this stuff. Um, oh, look at this one. I love this one. This, this one and the black and red one. Oh, love it. I'm going to think of something to build with that. Maybe even use it in the nether hub thing, because I still have to build out the hubs, but... Yeah, so, so that's my thing, you know, just just a cute little video of uh, Nether Portal stuff and and how to get quartz. You know what? I, I'll, I'm gonna title this "How to Get Tons of Quartz" <laughs> well, easily, but uh, yeah. So you know, I highly recommend villager trading. It makes your life so much easier. Really, I mean, it really, really, really does. So smooth stone. Uh, the smooth stone generator. I gave you the numbers on on you know that stuff. If you want to do it in your own, um, and if you want to see how to construct the smooth stone generator, um, if I uh, if I actually do it, I'll put a link to the video. But just go back a couple videos, you'll see, um, you know, so many per hour smooth stone generator is what that thing is, uh, and you want it four blocks deep, not three. The original video is three, so you want it four blocks deep for an efficiency four pickaxe. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's it. All right, so I'm going to stop my gabbing now. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. You know, you could do me a huge favor. Huge favor. Make sure you hit a like on the video. Um, God, it would help a whole lot. Like, like, anyhow, yeah, so a like on the video would, would be fantastic. Oh. I, I, I love jumping on beds. <laughs> it's like, that's fun. Neener, neener, neener. Anyhow, yeah, throw a like on the video if you don't mind. I would really appreciate it. Um, and, uh, you know, make sure you're subscribed and all that kind of good stuff. Um, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next video when I come up with something else worthy of showing you. <laughs> so... You know what? I, you know what I should do. I should do for you guys that actually care. I should do a base walk around because the base has changed a bit since I since the last time I did a walk around. Um, it has. So I should do that. I'll do a base walk around uh, probably this weekend. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Yo, lazy villagers. Hey, am I the only one that finds villagers incredibly annoying? God, they suck sometimes, I swear to God. They will try your patience till its last thread. <sighs> but you gotta love them. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I'm over and out, man. I will catch you guys in the next one. You take care. Have a good day. <laughs>